It is the British summertime. The sun is out. It's a glorious day. So what are we going to do? We're going to sit and play video games. It's a simple life, but it's mine. Greetings, people of the internet. My name is Matt, and this is Doctor Who Online. Yes, greetings, people of the internet. Matt is back. Uh, where have I been? Another story for another time. So recently, I've been reading up on Doctor Who video games, and for the most part, I've never played them, and I want to. So I thought, why not just go play them? What would be funnier if I showed you lot me playing these games? Now, are the games bad, or am I bad at the games? So that is what we're going to find out over the next few weeks. We are going to play some Doctor Who video games, and we're going to see if they are actually worth playing and more importantly, are they worth collecting if you see them out there in the wild or if you see them at conventions? Because I know that a lot of them are collector's items, but just because they're a collector's item, does that necessarily mean they're worth collecting? Interesting. Let's go play some Doctor Who video games. Okay, so what do we know about Doctor Who The First Adventure? It was literally, and very aptly named, the very first officially licensed Doctor Who game. Uh, there was one that was Doctor Who themed uh, called The Time Lords by Redshift, but that's we shall learn of that wisdom later. It was released on the BBC Microcomputer, released by BBC Software in the year of 1983. So Peter Davidson's actually been in the role for a couple of years by now. And it's supposed to feature the Fifth Doctor. However, we don't actually see him on screen. We only see the TARDIS in that wonderful, wonderful 8-bit way that only 8-bit can manage. <laughs> it's a collection of four minigames, which includes Pac-Man, Frogger, Space Invaders and Battleship. And, yeah, what else can you say apart from it's a BBC microcomputer collection of redone arcade games okay let's see how this goes so it's kind of like it's Doctor Who if you really squinted or like many of us did when we were kids we were playing these games wishing they were a Doctor Who game and now they are but in these enlightened times we kind of just complain about everything you know so <laughs> nobody can win so Hopefully, hopefully this should be quite entertaining. Let's see. Okay, here goes. You gotta admit, you have got to love these old graphics. Genuinely, you've got to love them. Ooh, here we go. Six-year-old me would have died if he'd seen that on a BBC computer. Genuinely. Okay, press spacebar. I love the emulation. They've actually they've actually really, really got it right. Okay, so as Doctor Who ooh, not as the Doctor, it's as Doctor Who. As Doctor Who, you must travel through time and space to save the universe from destruction by completing the following four episodes. I like the way that they've actually kept the four episode structure. I do like that. Episode 1, The Labyrinth of Death. Episode 2, The Prison. Episode 3, The Pterodactyls. And Episode 4, The Box of Tantalus. Time itself is running to an end. In less than one galactic hour, you must retrieve the key to time and take it to the centre of the universe where it can be used to initiate the second age of time. Ah, it's a key to time story. I didn't see that coming. That's curious. 
So that would be the key to time before Big Finish did key to time. <laughs> oh, I like that. I don't know why I like that, but I do like that. If you succeed, you will be awarded a place in the Gallifreyan Time Academy and given all time honorary rating. Even though the Doctor already is a Time Lord and has already gone through the Academy. You don't argue with it. If you do not succeed, then time will come to a halt and the universe will become silent and dead. If you fail in a particular episode, you may regenerate and begin that episode again. However, regenerating takes 3 minutes from your remaining time. You also have a maximum of 15 regenerations. I can hear the internet screaming! You must complete each episode before going to the next one. You are now ready to embark on your journey. Good luck! Setting up space-time coordinates. Aha! Materialization procedures activated! <gasps> that was good. I like that. Ooh. And that was the TARDIS. So, that little dot here, that's the fifth Doctor. Whoa, and we've got, we've got something going on now. I've, what am I doing? Uh, <laughs> oh, he's going back that way, so we're going to go this way. I like the way that you're actually just sort of, you know, you're running up and down corridors. The thing is, I, is this the same display that they use from... Caves of Androzani. Oh, these controls, man. Oh, these controls. The, the, um, first thing I will say as a gamer, these controls suck. <laughs> these are so clunky. Okay, where are you, Charlie's up ending? Oh, come on. Get out of my way. You're in my bloody... Oh, you're in my peripheries. Oh, no. Ah oh, no! Regeneration! <laughs> it's the curse of fatal death all over again. Oh, I did tell you that I was going to suck at this. Right, I think there's that green flashing thing there. And I've got something chasing me! Ah! Oh, bugger! Oh, come on, that's it. Get out of the way! That's it, that's it! Aha! Uh -huh. Oh, and they've... And they've... Head up. Okay, we're down. We're down. Uh, they've, uh, they've found my scent. Oh no! Get out of bloody bag! Come on! Oh! Oh, I've got to do this again. Oh no! Oh no! 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 no. Ah! Oh god, he's chasing me, he's chasing me, he's chasing me. Ah, ha, ha. Ah, ha. Oh, come on! No, 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 Oh, come on! Up, up! Oh, for the love of god, this game! Oh, no! <sighs> Locking on to Epitaph. <laughs> oh dear. Disaster! Tell me something I don't know! Your regenerative powers have been exhausted. The universe is doomed to destruction. We salute you for your brave attempt. That's a... That's... Yeah, that's... That's old school feeling of failure, that is. That truly is. <sighs> So that indeed was Doctor Who and the First Adventure, and that was, that's just a, uh, that's a harsh game. Um, I will do a playthrough of these games and actually try and beat them. In fact, I'm going to make it my mission in life to beat the First Adventure. I've gone through Mario, I can do this. <laughs> I've finished Destiny of the Doctors before now, so it's just like, this is just not going to beat me. Just, it's not. But that's a very tough sort of action game but then again it's Pac-Man I have always been atrocious at Pac-Man so if you're bad at a game 
that this is based on. It's kind of like an, an unfair advantage, if you like, but I, I don't know, mate. I'm just like, this is just... Whoever came up with this, with this game is just a pure sadist. Pure sadism. Anyway, that was me. So, did you ever play Doctor Who The First Adventure on your home computer? Did you play it at school? Did you beat it? Do you still own it? You know, um, let us know in the comments below because we're always, we're always literally, you know, when I do these things, I would like to actually talk to people about these things. But uh, yeah, I, oh, I did, I was not expecting that at all to not even get past the first level and go through thirty regenerations. Whew! The timeless child has got nothing on me today. Nothing. What did I think about it? It was. It's not necessarily a bad game. It's 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 hopeless uh, label slapping, if ever there was one. Because what they've basically done is they've taken the premise of Patman, put a TARDIS in there, and quite a groovy little eight-bit version of the theme tune, which I actually quite liked. I must admit, if the, if a you know a very young me was actually playing that game for the first time, I'd have lost my mind. I would have totally lost my mind. I this is. <laughs> But it's... is it good? No. Is it bad? Not really. It's just got very primitive, clunky controls. Um, and you've kind of got to work out a strategy, if you like. Which I just... I don't have the patience for as a game player. I just don't have the patience for strategy games. But, you know, if you can get... If, if these are old arcade games that you actually like, then more power to you because you could probably get through these games whereas me I am not gonna hope not gonna hope but it's really nice to think that there's a kid out you know, there are kids out there that actually got this game for the first time and it's had that wonderful Doctor Who the First Adventure artwork on the cover to see the TARDIS and hear the theme tune on a computer I can imagine that being a really big thing I'd imagine people being quite hyped about that and also I can imagine that this was something that you know some kids would have liked because not everybody had an Atari, not everyone had a Nintendo, you know, not not everybody had a Master System. So we're talking about we're talking about computer games at a time where the expectations were a lot lower than we've got these days. I mean, that you could probably run on your phone. In fact, it wouldn't surprise me that some people have actually got it on their phone. Doctor Who: The First Adventure as a phone app. That's an idea. Anyway, so that was me playing the first adventure. I suck at it. Is it worth collecting? I would, you know what? I could say, give this, give this one a go, just for the sheer fact, you know, just to see what it was like to play Doctor Who video games in the very beginning. In the very beginning, um, I would give this a go. I wouldn't pay too much for it though, because, like I say, it's it's a compilation of other arcade games. If it was a if it was a purely original game, then. I would say, yeah, you know, it would it probably be worth more. But I'm the same. It's, it's, um, it's, it's. <sighs> the first adventure is meh. I'm gonna be back next video, and we're going to be playing Doctor Who and the Warlord. Again, a game I know nothing about, but I dare say we are gonna find out, and we're gonna find out together. And that is next time with me, Matt, and this has been Doctor Who Online. Thank you so very much for checking out the video, and if you are a newcomer to Doctor Who Online's YouTube, you are more than welcome. Please consider hitting that subscribe button and the notification bell to be told exactly when new Doctor Who Online content is uploaded.